How you guys doing? As you would have read the title, I watched a bunch of three-hour movies, so let's talk about them. I guess we'll start with the first three-hour movie I watched, which was Gladiator! Are you not entertained? This is a fantastic movie. Uh, this is probably Ridley Scott's best movie, I would say. I haven't seen, like, every single one of them. I've seen more than the average person. Most people have just seen his major ones. And, you know, like, Black Hawk Down, Gladiator, and Alien, and stuff like that. I've seen quite a few of his movies. Um, but this is a fantastic movie. Uh, it's it's just great. First of all, the costume design. This is uh, freaking amazing. I know probably these are all uh, very popular movies. So I'm sure when I talk about these movies, I'm not saying anything you don't already know, but you you would come to this video to hear my thoughts. So if you don't want to hear my thoughts, that's all I'm saying. But the costume design in this movie is great. Uh, the production design is amazing. The score to this movie is absolutely beautiful. I will say, though, once you hear the Pirates of the Caribbean, because I believe they're both Hans Zimmer who did the score for these, um... You hear a lot of Pirates of the Caribbean in the background type music, and you cannot unhear it. It's a beautiful score, and it works within the movie, but it sounds so similar to Pirates of the Caribbean. Holy shit, it's distracting. Other than that, it's a fantastic score. Uh, Russell Crowe is a great character, and his story is beautiful. You know, his, uh, his, uh, the king dies, and that, and him having to go into Rome, and a slave and become a gladiator and how much he loves his family and how that ends in tragedy and it's just beautiful story it's a fantastic movie very emotional very moving it's one of the best movies ever made uh, it's just epic action and moments of sadness i cried it is beautiful this is a great movie go watch freaking gladiator i, I got this 4k for 17 bucks off of Amazon. Very surprised. This, I think this 4K came out in 2017, something like that. Still came with the slipcover. So if you order now, you might get a chance to slipcover. It's very unlikely. But even saying that, I thought it was unlikely and I got a slipcover. So if you really care about slipcovers, I would try to order now. Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> My family went out of the house for the weekend. And so, or for like the day or so. And I was just left home alone, taking care of stuff, you know, getting some relief from work. So I decided Wolf of Wall Street is the best movie I could have possibly watched. <laughs> because um, if you know this movie, it's uh, the story was Martin Scorsese made this, directed the Scorsese, Scorsese, Scorsese I, I can't say his name, um, you know, but he uh, put, sent this movie to the MPAA. They immediately said NC-17. Uh, he fought very hard to get it in R rating. And it is R, but the, but the amount of drugs, sex, nudity, and just language in this movie. I mean, this is the movie that holds the record for the amount of F-bombs in any movie. Which is just ridiculous. Because if you actually watch the movie... The people who who bring that up, they act like they notice it so much. But if you actually watch the movie, it's not that noticeable. They just speak a lot about it, and like also, like the character is a scummy douchebag. Like he's an awful person. I mean, the end of the movie is him ratting out all these people in his company, and then going to prison, and then getting out. You know, even though he was involved with these scandals and everything else, this guy is not a good person. So him talking like dirty and foul and there being so much sex, drugs, and nudity, you know, you're watching an awful person. And it's, and it's, 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 you know, it's very funny. It's very uh, fun. But it's also kind of like saddening because you're like watching this awful person who really did all these things. Maybe not the way it's shown in the movie, but you know what I mean? And it's kind of highlighted on, on this dude. But this is such a funny movie. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio, you know, I know he won for The Revenant, but I still stand by this is a film he should have won for because he is so good at the, as this lead character that I didn't even see Leo. I saw the character. He did a completely different voice. He was so funny. 
Um, and it, it just memorizing performance. Just great time. It's not exactly three hours. I think it's two hours and 50 minutes. But I'm throwing it in this video anyways. Great movie. And then uh, we'll talk about this one before we get to the really depressing ones. Scarface. Uh, this one's a great time. Just such a great movie. I really enjoyed Scarface. Um, I watched this because I recently watched Heat. I read the book, the sequel book that came out. Did little reviews for those. Um, but this movie is obviously one of the greatest movies of all time. Al Pacino's very good. The gun, it, it, the gunshots feel kind of like they do in Heat. Not quite as impressive sound design, but it's got some really impressive sound design. There's a couple scenes that look a little iffy with like the dead bodies. Like, okay, you're clearly looking at like a fake body and it's not real with the dead bodies, especially scenes within the pool. But this character's great. His downfall is interesting. It's just a really great crime movie that really encapsulates that time period and that darkness of these kind of people. It's a beautiful movie. It looks great on 4K. I've seen this as low as $10 on Amazon. So if you ever see this 4K for $10, Probably not going to get a slip, but 100% worth buying. Beautiful looking 4K. I guess we'll start with the least depressing out of all of them. Out of the last two. That's same Private Ryan. This is absolutely a depressing movie. Uh, it's a very emotional movie. The entire cast is great, but the story of these people is just great. Uh, you know, this obviously Steven Spielberg. I love his movies, but this is a beautifully shot movie, and this is definitely probably his second most important movie, I would say. I mean, it's next time we're going to talk about this is most important. This movie is absolutely gorgeous. The cinematography, the music in this movie, the performances, uh, just very moving. Those open 10 minutes are horrific. Not as horrific as I've heard that they were before watching it for the first time, because I did watch this for the first time in 4K. Um... But this, it's kind of funny. All these are 4K. I don't know. I didn't plan all that. But, you know, very sad, very maddening, uh, violent scene that just hurts because you're watching some very realistic gore. Not as much as I thought it was going to be, but, you know, uh, it is a very moving scene. And it's one of the best uh, movies ever made. Just Matt Damon gives an incredible performance. Everyone in this movie does so good just very very strong and emotional Tom Hanks you know all the cast just very good movie um then I watched Schindler's List <laughs> I watched these by the way I watched Schindler's List the day before and I was in a bad mood but I decided let's watch Schindler's List like this is my choice I don't know why I was debating on these two I was debating on do I watch Schindler's List, or do I watch The Hangover? I picked Schindler's List. Now, I was in a bad mood, so it was kind of all like, holy shit, why did I pick this fucking movie? <laughs> and then I watched Saving Private Ryan the day after, which I was in a better mood, but... Man, that was not good decision-making on my part. This I, I did cry very much through this movie. Um, this movie is obviously incredibly hard to watch. It's a beautiful story. Uh, about this man who did so much to save these people. But I think I come to understand something I've never really heard anyone talk about with this movie, which is that at the end of the movie, Oscar Schindler saves all these people, and he says, the war's over. Um, you might think of me as a hero, but I'm not. I, you know, I'm a Nazi. I did all these horrible things. They're going to come hunt me down. And it made you realize that's the humanity of this story because this is a obviously you know something very real that happened it's the fucking holocaust obviously um but what you're what you're watching is this man explain to you i'm human i fucked up and it's kind of an interesting thing in that sense because he did do something good but he, he i think he really took notice before he did anything. And what I mean by that is, like, he was a rich man. He had to have known some of his companies were up to this. Chose to ignore these, these types of things until it got bad enough to where he had to take action. And he even really didn't have to take action. But it's 
interesting to see how long it took someone to see this and how that's kind of what we are doing now you know there are lots of very similar things going on in the world that are very similar to the holocaust and we're not paying attention as much as we should be and maybe it's because some of us are blinded by money or just other things but this is why something like this is inevitable to happen again as horrible as this is maybe not to jews maybe not to whoever but maybe to another group of people it's just because humans did this it is in our human nature to do things like this and not i'm not saying i would do this or you would do this i'm saying that it's very real that people in the world would do this again and it, it's it's maddening to think about it's horrific to think about when you watch this movie you're angry because you're like you're watching this you're like oh my gosh i'm almost crying talking about it you're like how can we let this happen how can we do this to children to women to men to anybody and just why did it take us so long to do anything about it it's just so many things that make you angry it's horrific it's sad it's maddening and it's also beautiful it's touching it's moving the music is gorgeous the cinematography everything about this film is just awesome and it's just a beautiful story I'm going to stop recording before I freaking cry. <laughs> I really am almost crying like shit. Anyways, let me know what you thought of these uh, three hour movies. Uh, just beautiful movies that are 100% worth watching. Um, these are all great movies. 10 out of 10s for all these. Actually, Scarface will give a 9 out of 10, but the rest of them 10 out of 10s. <laughs>